REM sleep behavior disorder. This disorder is almost strictly in older men. It has been described in women, has been described in children, but the great majority, 99%, is older men. And these, these folks, remember that I told you that in REM sleep, you, you, you lose muscle tone and you're paralyzed, uh, except for our breathing process. Uh, well, these folks are, do not lose muscle tone, they gain it, and they have dreams and REM sleep. They're very active dreams. Uh, they're they're action-packed, the violent dreams. I found this nice little caricature here, this uh, drawing of this, this old gentleman is fighting, but he's dreaming that he's boxing out there. And so oftentimes they hit their wives. Um, I just saw a patient, uh, a couple today, patient uh, and his wife, and um, when he came three years ago and I diagnosed him with this, the, the, the lady said, you got to do something. He had me in a headlock this morning. <laughs> oh, he did. Had him in a, in a headlock. And uh, I had an uncle who passed away a few years ago, but he, I treated him for this for the last 20 years. And, and he, he would fight dirty. He would bite his wife in the middle of the night. He's a, he's a street fighter. And um, so um, violent dreams then can cause injury to themselves and others. Some people dive off the bed because they're trying to get out of the way of whatever truck is coming, and they hit themselves from something sharp, and now they're, they're injured. And the important thing is that 85% of them already have or will develop a, some type of neurodegenerative disorder. The most common one is Parkinson's disease. And so we look very careful for that. You can't do a whole lot about Parkinson's when it comes, it comes. But at least we can talk to them and uh, uh, consult with them and tell them what, what is to expect. Some of them don't get it at all. My uncle did not get it at all. Um, this gentleman that I have has, does not have any signs of Parkinson's disease. But those are the possible problems with REM sleep behavior disorder. Now, how do we diagnose it with the clinical history? You know, headlock, you know, if you got your wife in a headlock, that's a, that's a, a telltale sign. We do a polysomnogram. Remember when you're in REM sleep, no, no muscle tone? Well, these guys, all of a sudden, they gain it back. And you can see it, even if they don't act out their dream, you can see the, the REM sleep and the muscle tone comes back. And that is a sign also that they may have um, the RBD or REM sleep behavior disorder. We have a questionnaire that asks, uh, you know, do you move in your sleep? How many things are off, you know, the, the bed stand, you know, your eyeglasses or glass on the floor, things like that, and you get a score. And we must rule out obstructive sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is the 800-pound gorilla in sleep medicine. It can masquerade as many things, as insomnia, as REM sleep behavior disorder, as leg movements during sleep. And uh, cause there is a syndrome where they just have severe sleep apnea. They're not in REM, but they act like REM sleep behavior disorder. And we treat the sleep apnea, and it goes away. Uh, and, um, so, um, and they will respond to CPAP very well.